Welcome to another High Ground in under 10 minutes. Uh, today we're going to be uh, discussing Martin Scorsese's recent comments about uh, superhero movies with them being, uh, compare, he compared them to mo the movies to like theme parks and simply said, I tried, you know, but that's not cinema. Mm. So, Callum, do you agree with uh, Martin Scorsese? Or... Um, on first reaction, no. Like as a snap. Because, uh, because of obviously how much we treasure the, the MCU films, but like as the article on Collider says, um, cinema is defined, it's not defined specifically, so cinema could be whatever you make it, I suppose, but I don't know, no, I, I, I get I get where he's coming from, that it's been commercialised, you know, and you know, that's happened in cinema so many times, and I think, I know he likes to be separate from what's going on in mainstream cinema, and probably his, his films, but I don't know, I mean, a lot of his films have entered mainstream vernacular, you know, I mean, Goodfellas is impossible to not mention without thinking of Scorsese. And I dare say that's a mainstream film. I don't know. Yeah. It's, uh, for me, it's like, I mean, J James Gunn's, uh, for just James Gunn, Samuel Jackson, and Joss Whedon, all, you know, said their pieces about uh, on on it, because they were basically, uh, you know, attacking the films that they make. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, ah. Uh, I think you know. Really, it's, a, it's a, this, this, this room for everything in cinema, and this is at the, at the moment. And I think Steven Spielberg said, "This is like the Western. It, it is going to go for phases, and this is what yeah. I do see." So I'm personally grabbing a hold of all these superhero films now because, again, eventually, I mean, people forget now that towards after Return of the Jedi, science fiction and fantasy was went it's right down. Yeah. yeah, you look at when uh, Spaceballs came out. Spaceballs came out too late to yeah. actually be a hit. They'd been released just a few years earlier, and now Spaceballs is a bit of a cult movie. Yeah, I mean, Airplane hit the spoof thing on the head, 100% hitting the ground running at the time. Like, I, I didn't think there was, like, a real spoof thing before that. Yeah, but Spaceballs does, when you watch it now, like, it feels really sort of, it's just trying to be the thing it's mocking. Yeah. You know, it's the way the Scream movies went. You know, they started off as, like, great postmodern comments on what horror was, and then they just ended up portraying the, the cliches that they were trying to take the piss out in a way. You know what, what I, found, I found really fascinating about the whole Scorsese thing is one of his muses is actually in the Joker. Oh, yeah. yeah. Joker, not the Joker. Because uh, in Joker, and I thought that, that's kind of, yeah, yeah, it's sort of like, the you know, he, I, was like, I think it was James Gunn said in one of his tweets is that, you know, uh, oh, the Last the, Temptation thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, go see these movies, then make your mind up, but don't just do you know, If you like all the superheroes you go through, you know, uh, since 78 to modern day, there's not one distinct style because no. every studio and every uh, universe, as they are now, has their own unique style. I mean, DC are always riffing on what Nolan did. Yeah. And, or Tim Burton. Yeah. yeah. Tim Burton's. And, and you, you hardly got to Tim Burton and so say, you're not, this isn't real cinema. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I can kind of not get annoyed by the fact that he's not personally attacking anyone he's just saying you know it's not for him it's not his kind of thing which i can kind of accept if he'd went specifically for people like james gunn or he'd said so and so's you know dumb for doing this then that's different but i i can kind of maybe accept it a little more because he's not being petty or personal i think it's fanboys, just a view i think fanboys these days just uh look for something to grab yeah, onto yeah. so we can just turn our Instead of turning our energy down to Star Wars films, we just turn it all against someone that says so you yeah, we don't like. If you taste something we don't like, we have to go and attack them. Yeah, for no reason. I mean, what James Gunn said on his tweet was was quite was was nice. That's how it should be. Where he says, "I don't like the fact that he said it because it's my sort of films, but I'm still pumped for the Irishman. I still love Scorsese. You know, that's how a debate should be. You should be able to say, no, I don't like this, and then carry on being friends afterwards, or at least you know." Respecting the person that you're arguing with. Well, the, I mean, uh, this is not exactly his point of making, but something that I've said for some time now is that the uh, area I, I love the superhero genre. Yeah. And is that uh, because superhero films are sound, so all studios try to get hold of properties and to pump them out, is uh, is making it harder for the smaller films, the ones that aren't going to make much money, like The Irishman, compared to the, even though it's got an all star cast, it's easier just to have it on something like Netflix yeah, and have yeah. it go straight for maybe a one day or two day release and then just put it onto a streaming service and it does annoy me 
that oh yeah that to yeah. cinemas and, uh, and studios are now going for the bankable to put out there the marquee value yeah even though you got you know, you've got uh was it uh, uh de niro uh pacino, pacino and uh, joe Pesci in the film i mean i'd love to see that on the big screen yeah. but i know i'm gonna have to watch it on streaming and it goes and it also goes back to annihilation which yes one. so films like these because they're not as marketable now yeah. to an audience that needs everything in five second bursts. Yeah, yeah, I mean they did it with Buster Scruggs as Buster well. Buster Scruggs, oh, don't get on that I mean, one. Who thought the Coens would never have been, would have been releasing a film that wouldn't put in cinema, but that is the way the platform is now, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it, it, I mean, something like that, because of who the person directing it is, people aren't not going to watch it. You know, Scorsese is a, a hot prophet himself. Yeah. And even those films aren't in a universe, you know, they're, they're they're his films, like Tarantino, like you say, like the Coens. But I think the thing about saying, you know, that superhero movies are like theme parks, you know, sometimes that's what you want in cinema. You just want a theme park ride where you can relax. And and there are, there are like, not as good for inferior entries in the MCU and, and the super... I mean, all of DC's films are pretty much just not, not post, as good. Post, post Batman Returns. Yeah, post Batman Returns, yeah. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, I, cinema is it takes all forms. So I think sometimes I'm okay with it being just a theme park. You know, I love I love just sticking on a theme park ride. Like Back to the Future to me is like a theme park ride. It's where you sit down, strap in, and just enjoy the whole thing. Or something like Resident Evil. You know, people hate it, but it's fun. It's fun. And cinema should be fun. You know, you don't always have to watch Oscar winners. I I I, I like I like you know there are certain things I like, do like going. It's for the. You're having a bad day, you're having a bad week, you just go sit in the cinema and just watch yeah. this nonsense and you check your brain out for one and a half to three and <laughs> three hours one minute. Yeah, yeah. And boom, and you feel better for it. Then there's also the times where you go and you see something like once upon a time in Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. And you just go and you, you walk out of the cinema going, I have to see this film again. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like yeah. the adrenaline shot that you wanted. Yeah. At filmmaking as an art. And I've got to say, the Joker, Todd Phillips, the Joker, filmmaking as an art. Yeah. And, and that's a, in, in the genre, but not in the genre. And I think that t the only thing is, is with, with Scorsese's comments to me was that he just targeted it as a community rather than, body, yeah. Yeah, uh, rather than as a individual piece of work saying you didn't like this or you didn't like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you mean you don't have to like a style of filmmaking? It took me years to go to wa to watch the Twilight films. I didn't like them. I yeah. watched them though. Just That'd be like yeah. me saying I don't like Twilight films because in, well, I haven't seen them yet. I I didn't think I'd like them. I watched them and I didn't like them. But sometimes, yeah. sometimes you can actually Surprise think you're not going to like it and then yeah, go yeah. and watch one that will stand out. Yeah, and... the Hunger Games like that for me. I didn't. I don't like the rest of them. But when I I didn't want to watch the first one because it just looked like you know, teen hokum to me, and that whole teen, young adult thing was getting on my nerves at the time. But then I did actually watch it, and I, and I thought, this is alright actually, it's not as, it's not as, you know, fluffy as I thought it was going to be. But, um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's yeah, he's, I think he's kind of assuming that whole genre works a certain way, isn't it? Yeah. You know, like, like we, we were just discussing earlier about how sci-fi and fantasy in the, the it, after Return of the Jedi specifically, it was it was sort of a genre that people just poo pooed, didn't they? Yeah. And they're like, oh, well, that's over now. That fads me. I don't think Martin's gonna say he's gonna. Well, uh, I hope he's gonna have to worry about because he likes all of the escapists and all that. But yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be. There will be something soon, somewhere down the line, that's gonna take over when everybody gets. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. So, so just like win, aren't they? I'd I'd like to see Scorsese do a superhero film now, actually, just to yeah, see what he thinks he should do. It would have to. Uh, hopefully, some studio will, will give him the money to say uh, you say. We'll let you. We'll finance whatever you want to do. Yeah. You just do this one film for us, just to see to see your take on it. That well, would be a, great. He's a carte blanche director, isn't he? You could just say, "I want to do this," and they'll go, "Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the money. Yeah. Wait, here's the money. Just the okay. yeah. <laughs> So that's uh, our opinion of what Scott said about comic book movies. <laughs> see you all in another t in under ten minutes on in the on the high ground podcast. See you later, guys. Bye.